Tried all the rest? Learn from the best. Join WDGLC.com today. Hey there, everybody. It's Wayne D. And the Masters is over. And here's your winner, Bubba Watson. Had a bunch of great shots coming down the stretch. He's a unique character, unique swing. Let's take a look. Uh, got a bunch of his swings from today. And uh, pretty cool stuff. So, got a front view, which is fairly rare. The angle's not right on. You can see where the ball is, so the camera's forward. But kind of a interesting look see this is a fixed camera probably up in a tower or something who knows where but that means we can draw a line on the head and we can see some lateral movement here as well as some of the body movement so let's take a look now again and I, I always say this because there's only one guy that gets hammered for lowering his head, and that's Tiger. But, uh, you know, everybody does it, and they do it a lot. And here's the winner of the Masters, and he's down there more than Tiger, I bet, about eight inches down. You can see it. Another thing you'll see here is he has no mind for knocking it down or whatever he's he's a field player but so talented it really doesn't matter uh, interesting view look at the uh, trailing elbow there see the upper arm pointed there staying in ready position so even though he makes a huge swing his left arm is staying in a position where it can work back down in front of him if it got way behind him he probably wouldn't be able to control the ball like he does but here we see a couple of different things. Watch the front leg kick in and the heel lift. You'll see the, the back muscles engage. So if you look at the area right, right in here, watch the twist in there. Again, one of the things that you really see with good players, it would appear that the whole mass of the shoulders, if you look at it from up here, won't move momentarily as the lower body pushes so that engages all the muscles in the spine and that's the, that's what the key to the sequence is now where does the movement come from well if you ask me it comes from the ground his left leg is going to drive inward and by the time he gets his right heel on the ground if you check it out Let's take a look. So you'll see the foot was aligned like this to start with. Now watch what happens when he puts it back down right there. You can see it shifted to where it's angled this way now. That's something I observed in Hogan and a bunch of good players that once the heel lifts, when the back leg drives, the heel descends and it gets closer to the target. The foot straightens out. Coming through, you can see the work of the glutes and the lower body pushing. His swing's cut off a little. He keeps his left foot from going all the way up and around. So his swing's a little different, but he likes to match up that vertical backswing with a vertical follow-through. Learn the pivot compression golf swing. Join WDGLC.com today. Um, this is a cool picture out of the fairway bunker. Good angle. Camera moves a little bit, but if you want to make sure that you're getting the right read on things, just draw a line up on something like up on the top of the bunker. Now you'll note it moves to the side, but it does not change height so that means that when I draw a line on Bubba's head, that we can check his height out once this thing gets underway here. Right there. Watch. There you go. So all the knuckleheads who say that 
you get into a fairway bunker, tour pros will make a different swing. They won't lower their heads as much. Okay, well, guess what? Or, they, excuse me, they don't say they don't lower their heads as much. They say they don't lower their heads at all, which is silly. Of course they do. Like that. Plus he hit this one about 240 out of the bunker. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at a couple different swings here. Got to pick out a couple. Here's a good one. Camera was pretty far back, but good angle. You can see the pin on 15 right here. So the camera's got a good line on it. Watch the watch how vertical this swing is. I would say that is just about as up and down as you'll see a lead arm now look at the hand path you can see it follow the arm angle it's coming down toward the ball and the shaft shallows the shaft stays pretty much up on the right arm but it never gets certainly never gets stuck and Again, you'll see the club go directly to the right on the follow-through. Now, if you look at that high finish, you might think he's swinging down the line, but of course, nobody does that. Now, they might think they do or feel like they do, but they don't. Now, here's another shot, a little off angle again. This is on uh, 12, obviously. Look at that, look at that height, and watch the compression. You can just see that move right there. So one of the things you'll notice is that when you draw the angle from the tip of the shoulder to the waist, most of the guys in the forward swing, you'll find that shoulder drop below that line just a hair. So you see he added some posture as he lowered. So it always looks to me like the belt buckle sucks back. There's a belt buckle here. Watch it. You can see the left leg add flex. Hands come out and down. Of course, it's so high. Most guys are way, way up there. Will go less toward the ball, but bubble comes right out pretty much if I draw that from my dot there through the grip. It's going to be, there it is. There goes the shaft, shallowing, head lowering. So, even though the swing is odd looking and idiosyncratic, you see the same technique items that you see in a lot of the great swings. Pressing into the ground, hands toward the ball, the shaft shallowing. You see the upper left arm trying to get in front of the body instead of hanging back on the side. See compression in the legs, see the drive off the feet, see the use of the butt and the glutes in the ball through the ball. Now I'll tell you, I thought Mickelson had it. I think Bubba is as good as Mickelson is. Maybe it's something about being a lefty. Man, these guys just paint the ball. They just take it and <laughs> they do whatever they want with it. I mean, he hooked this thing 40 yards to win the Masters. A 40 yard wedge. 40 yard hook with a wedge. With an open face. Now, look at that. Hmm. pretty wild. Now, of course, we don't want to leave out Louis. Louis used to is a man. He played great and, uh, you know, just came up a fraction short, but we got to give him a, give him some 
couple of slaps on the back, especially for that shot he hit. On uh, two. That was really amazing. Let's see if I got that here. That might be it. Let's play this one just for the heck of it. Man, good as that. About that. Let's go look at that swing. And the thing I like most about Usain's swing, I love his back swing. His takeaway is just mint. If you look at Tiger's backswing, it's getting to be about the same. The club is slightly outside the hands. And the more I the more I teach and the more I see the problems caused by the club running underneath the hands, the more I like this kind of action. Now look at the, the two things that are really key here. Look at the depth of the right arm here and the height of the elbows. The right arm is just a fraction above the left, which shows that the shoulders haven't flattened too much. The arms aren't rolling, so the left wrist is still cupped. You can see it. I mean, it's just such a nice position at the top. Now Louis lowers, but he only lowers a fraction, not very much, not not much, as little as 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 you'll see, other than say Jason Day. And he's got that unique right arm action where his arm hangs around his side a little more and then when he hits it his right arm will straighten out and then go around but you talk about being in sync man this guy is perfectly timed boom so great tournament for Ustazen This swing is something to look at and study a little bit. It's a beauty. And then you have the artist, Bubba. Of course, Brandel Chambly will be saying that, see, you don't need lessons. You just swing smooth and hit it in a sweet spot like Bubba says and everything will be just fine. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Alright, well that's the Masters for this year. Hope you enjoyed the videos.